We ready to get started? Welcome to the Royalty right, Project, let's, let's everyone. Go. What does it mean to be Black? To be Black, mean for me, means to be beautiful and to be myself. It's not like just your skin color, but it's also like how you act and who you are. Your culture and how you look and how you dress. To be Black means like you're proud of who you are, proud of your culture, to be like strong and independent. It means to like express yourself in a very happy way and to just like be yourself and be happy. Helping friends, helping parents, helping family. To shine with your skin, you have lots of abilities. I'm strong, I'm brave, I am talented, I am black, I am royalty. Black culture is many things and we all contribute to it. To be black is not to be one thing. You can be black in many, 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 many different ways. Black culture is the pulse of America. So when we make something cool, everybody wants to do it, right? So we're gonna talk about how are we cultural producers. Keith, what's up? How do you produce culture? Well, I actually am part of the podcast. Yes. AJ, how AJ. do you produce culture? Playing football and sports and stuff. Yeah. Omar? Playing soccer. I draw. I draw. I think my style and my fashion, when I dress and like I'll go to school and people be like, oh, I like your outfit. Or they'll ask me where I got it from. And then I'll see other people with the same things. And it makes me feel good. Copying your style, girl. Yes. Your yes, color. Alyssa. I think universally, we always are fly like hands down <laughs> so we produce culture but we also create a vibe so we want to make sure that when you come to the space the zoom the place known as the royalty project you are contributing to this place and you also are getting something out of it to fuel you each week flood the chat and also say out loud the things that you would like to feel the ways of being you would like for this space. I want people to know that they're worthy. I want to give like passion, loveness, and loveness. Like, I love that word. Help people. Yo, that is definitely my up. new word. I want to give loveness. You want to give loveness too. That loveness is going to be big. We're going to create a word cloud. And this is how we are going to conduct ourselves. And this is what we're going to feel and bring and receive from the space every time that we meet. And if a word appears more times, it's gonna be bigger in the word cloud. Tribe vibe, all royal youth to unmute. And I want you to call out the words that you see in this tribe vibe as if you are pulling them into the space. Ready? Okay, go. No judgment, resilience, loveless, empowered, worthy. That word call out that we just did, that was extremely powerful. So I'm feeling it. I hope you guys are feeling it and I'm ready to get the session started. We're going to find out what it really means when we say melanin is popping. Melanin. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so this spot on your forehead, it connects right to the pineal gland. That's where melanin is produced. So whenever you need a pick me up or you want to activate your melanin, <laughs> you do this. So I want to see everybody activate their melanin. Teach me. Uh -oh. Okay. okay. I just wanna rock. I just wanna. I see you. Wait, on. I can't see you. Come in. I see you. Body out of ya. All right. Hey. 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 Okay, no. Anybody? So I would like any royal youth that is so compelled to let me know what we reveal today. Melanin is more than just your skin color, but it's who you are internally and um, everything about you. I feel that like melanin is like part of everyone and it's how like uh, everyone expresses themselves. You guys inspire us so much. Wait, we got a soda. <laughs> Everybody and everything is beautiful in this whole way. Should be co-facilitated for me. Right? Everybody thinks beautiful is how you look, but it's also how you answer people and act 
and their heart is still gonna is still beautiful if you treat people right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the interview fact or cap. Africa and its countries are among the poorest places in the world. I see. Thumbs down. Open up your mics. Let me know if it's fact or cap. <laughs> Maximum cap. Maximum, Maximum cap. cap. <laughs> I feel like it's a really large stereotype that Africa always has to be poor. But if you go to Africa, there's a lot of very rich and cultured towns. You guys are absolutely correct. That is cap. We get a lot of our natural resources, minerals, low diamonds, and all these valued precious gems um, that come from Africa. Back to cap. The richest person who ever lived was a black man. Jaden got his hand okay, up. Okay, Jaden, let's go. So I learned that the richest person in the world was a king from Africa named Mansa Musa. Mm -hmm. uh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. The king. Alyssa, how'd you feel about taxes? Did you know that much was taken out? I knew it was a lot, but I didn't know it was that much. But it's I definitely like, appreciate my parents because that's a lot. I did ask him what he got from it. He was like, uh, I'm going to stay a kid just like my my parents. Oh, did. wow. <laughs> I think I'm going to thrive. I put, dear future me, I hope everything is good in the future. Today in the Royalty Project, we talked about money. AJ got the hand off. Hey, go ahead, AJ. He's been, he been setting it off crazy. Take it over. Be smart about your money. Save for unexpected life events mm. and <laughs> set boundaries. I wrote, dear future self, how are you? Believe in yourself. Become what you want to be home and save your money. Having money is like boxing because it's, it's hard hits and the soft hits. You just got to learn how to, how to keep getting back up. How would you describe the royalty project? It's kind, nice. We have more like love in us. We have the faith to say what we have to say. A unique and fun experience. It's a very helpful thing to make you know what Black people are really all about. It's a community where Black kids join together to talk about how they feel and they basically like talk about culture and your past. It, it's just a safe place and a safe environment where you can express yourself and you could talk to other kids who are learning about Black history and how and how to express themselves and melanin and all the other cool stuff. It teaches you about things that maybe you've never known about yourself or nothing you've ever known about like history. It's a cool project where I get to share all my interests and my beliefs on certain things mm -hmm. and not to judge me for it. We went to Philadelphia and we got to see a bunch of mm, cool places as a group. It was fun. It was fun learning about history. Would you describe it as a fun place? Yeah. Yes. Me too. <laughs> How would you describe the Royalty Project? It's such a good thing. You should join it. It teaches you more things that you would know. It teaches you, yeah. like, the science behind your melanin. It, te it teaches you certain things that you wouldn't already know. You guys have taught me so much, and it was cool to meet people, like, around the world. And we all share, like, a common interest. You know, it's yeah. like we all want to want more for us and we're able to be ourselves there. It's almost like family. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about it, too. I think it's very educational and it's fun mm -hmm. and it's like a family and it's a, like she said, like a safe space where mm -hmm. you can say whatever you do. That's right. Family. This is our song, y'all. The, the anthem, anthem, baby. Kings and queens and the place to be. Let them know that we're We let them know. 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 Home. Look at the richness of our culture. Look at this. Yes. That's beautiful. Wow, it's that time already. What was your favorite part? Every part I liked. Good.